Hi everyone, it's John the Dyslexic Geek here. In today's video, I'm going to go through 10 LEGO sets that are currently scheduled to be retiring by the end of the year. In this list, there are some sets that are really surprising to me to see these actually going coming up for retirement. But now that we're in April, we still have a good eight months to get hold of these. Many of these sets I already have already seen on sale at various times of the year. Uh, some of these I do need to get hold of for myself. But I want to give you guys the best opportunity to try and get as many of these as you can. There are, there are some really, really good sets in here that you really don't want to miss out on. So let's get to the list. So first up we have the Moss Oishley Cantina. This set which came out in October of 2020. So it's had a good four year run which is pretty good. A good many opportunities to get hold of this. This set does retail for $400 or £345. Pounds. It's a really good set. Um, I did buy mine last year when it was on sale. In the UK if you're looking to get hold of this on a sale. John Lewis had this as an exclusive. Uh, occasionally they do have it on sale. Last year I think I was able to pick it up for... I think £265 is what I paid for it in the end with sales and, and a various uh, discount code. So keep an eye out for the, uh, John Lewis for that. If you've got a My John Lewis card, keep an eye on the on the vouchers that you may get, the voucher codes that you may get on that app. Because sometimes you get good save, good discount codes and that on top of Lego sales. So that's but worth bearing in mind. It is a really cool set. Uh, loads of minifigures, 21 minifigures. Quite a lot of them are exclusive to this set. I think this set is going to do incredibly well when it retires. I think it's going to be highly popular. It's a really good looking set uh, I do highly recommend it anyone getting it although you do need a lot of space to, to display it is quite a large set hence the reason I haven't built mine yet because I don't really have anywhere to put it uh, but when I got it on sale last year that's over £265 that was too good a deal but yeah really cool set one not to, definitely not one not to be missed another Star Wars set that is going to be retiring this year is Luke Skywalker's Luke UCS Land Speeder this set which came out in May of 2022 so I think it's one of the May, May the fourth sets from a couple of years back it does retail for $240 or 210 pounds. In the UK, this set I think is exclusive to Argos. Occasionally they do have it on sale. I did pick it up about, um, I did pick up a few months, or last year or a couple of years ago when it was on sale. I have subs subsequently sold it because it doesn't really do much for me. I think Argos at some point had it down to 165 pounds. So keep it, well when Argos do a sale, I will let you know when it's on sale next time. So chances are you'll be able to get this on sale before it goes. It's quite a cool set. It just it doesn't really do much for me, if you know what I mean. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's not really that desirable for me. Um, I, I may get it again if, if it comes up on, on sale again at Argos. Um, but it's not a set I'm particularly fond of. But if you definitely if you are, are a collector of the, of the UCS sets and, and you want to get all of them, you have, you've only got another few months to get hold of this before it retires. Like all UCS sets, chances are this will go up in price. But with Star Wars, you never know when Lego may may bring one back. I mean, it won't be for a long time, but you, Lego could possibly re remake this five, ten years down the line. So bear that in mind. But it is a, if you're interested in UCS sets, it is going to be retiring. And for the last of the Star Wars sets in my list, it is going to be it is the Coruscant Guard Ship. This set, which which only came out last September, I'm surprised that this is going already. It's not had a long run at all. Not quite sure why it's retiring so soon. Uh, it does retail for $140 or £130. Uh, in the UK, I think this might be exclusive to Smith's. Um, I haven't yet seen it on sale. I've been trying to hang on to try and get it in a sale. But it is a really cool looking gunship. I do love the colour scheme. I have seen it on display in my Lego store uh, a couple of times. We've made a fourth um, coming around the corner in a couple of weeks time. Maybe Lego will have it on some kind of like, um, like five times inside the points maybe. I don't know. Maybe it will come up in a sale before the year's out. I, I just don't know if it will. But it's a really cool looking gunship. I would say the colour scheme is really lovely. The, the, the red really does stand out. It looks fantastic. Uh, really nice and colourful. I do have the UCF Republic gunship which I built a few months back. Uh, I would like to get this before it retires. Um, to have it like, next to it as a companion uh, gunship. Uh, the minifigures are pretty good. Really nice minifigures. I mean you get five in total. Um, it's got sliding cargo bay doors. Yeah, so you get five minifigures in total. It's a really cool set. I can't believe it's going so soon. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe it's not selling very well or it's always going to be a limited run. But yeah, if you're looking to get hold of this, you don't have much time. It is going to be going by the end of the year. Moving on to the idea set. This one being the A-frame cabin. Again, another set that's not been around for very long. It came out last February. So it's only had a good, what, year or so, 18 months on the, on the market. Normally Lego idea sets tend to be around for a, quite a few years, so it's a bit surprising to see this one going so soon. 
it does retail for $180 or £160. It's a great set. It's really, really good fun to build. I did buy it last year and reviewed it. It's a great looking set, really quite nice. Not too expensive, I think. I think it's well worth the money. 2,082 pieces. Um, I think it's a great set, I really do. The minifigures, not spectacular, if there's anything. There's, there's four of them in it. Not great minifigures, but they're fine. Uh, but it's a really nice looking idea set. The interior is nicely detailed. All the space is well utilised. It's quite nice that these are like um, slats on the side. They can be removed to, re remove, re reveal, re to reveal the interior. And every bit of space is well used. It is a charming set, really nice. Quite colourful, the plants and the trees do look really nice. Comes with a few animals, so you get a squirrel, an otter, a um, couple of birds, and I believe a frog. Yeah, really good set. Uh, I really do highly recommend picking this up. I'm not sure in the UK who has this as exclusivity. So yeah, really good set. Definitely one you want to pick up. The second of the idea sets that came out last year is also was also going to be retiring. This one being the Tales of the Space Age. This one ret retails for fifty dollars or forty-five pounds. I think this is a great looking set. Really nice, quite wallet friendly, not very expensive. Uh, really good, quite repetitive bit to build, but I enjoyed building it. Uh, 688 pieces, and they do look really nice on my shelf. I, I like these, I think they're quite unique, something quite different, not very expensive. Uh, and when you combine them all together, they do look really good. Although you can have them loose and they're, they're on like um, on joints, so you can put them all together or space them out. So you've got quite, quite a few bit of flexibility of how you can display them. They do have little hooks around the back, so if you want to hang them on the walls, you can do that. I, I think they're quite nice. Uh, I, I did it. I, I enjoyed building it. Uh, although I did find uh, the green one and the and the red brown one quite tricky. To, well, all of them actually quite tricky to put together because I'm got a bit of colour blindness. So trying to put the different bl shades of blues and brown together was a bit challenging at times. But yeah, really good set. One I would recommend. I say it's not very expensive. I've not seen this on sale anywhere in the UK. I don't know who has this as an exclusive. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool set. Well, I do recommend you pick it up before it goes. Another absolute must-have set is the Marvel Sanctum Sanctorum. This set is absolutely amazing. It is a full-size modular. Retails for $250, £215. Came out in August of 2022. So had a good two-year run on this. 2,708 pieces, loads of minifigures, and it is great. It really looks good. I do have it on my modular street. It blends in really well. I had a great fun building it, really good satisfying modular type building, full, it's a full size modular interior, lots of little easter eggs from the Marvel films, although there are a lot of stickers in it, so bear that in mind, there are a lot of stickers, loads, I, think it's, I can't remember how many sheets of stickers now, but I did, I did build and review this last year, the interior is really nice, it is a great set, the minifigures are really fantastic, quite a bit bits of customizability, you can turn things and you can sort of customise how you display it to a certain extent, Quite a nice little um, scenery and um, things. It's, it's a great, it's a great build. Really nice. It is a full scale modular. So the minifigures are all fantastic. So you get quite a lot of minifigures. So you get eight minifigures in total. Really good looking minifigures. In, in fact, I say I highly recommend this. In the UK, this is regularly on sale. I don't think it's exclusive to any particular store. Although Argos, they, they tend to have this on on sale. I've seen it, I've seen it down to a lot, as low as 140 pounds. I wouldn't pay full price for it. It is a set I've seen quite a few times on sale. So Keep an eye out for a sale on that. Next time it comes up, I'll try and do a video and include it, but definitely one you want to get. Whether you're a, but even if you're not necessarily a Marvel fan, just as a modular, it looks really nice and does blend in really well with the other, with, with, a, with a normal creator or, in, or um, icon modulars. Yeah, great set, really recommended. Another, another set that came out last year, again, another one that's retiring very soon, is the Harry, Harry Potter Hogwarts Express um, Hogsmeade Station version. This one, this one only came out in June of 2023, so again, not had a long run, which is really bizarre considering the last Hogwarts Express was around for a good few years. Not quite sure why Lego are retiring this one so soon. Um, it's quite expensive, $130 or £115. I believe in the UK this set is exclusive to Smiths. I've been trying to get hold of this, I've been trying to wait for a sale on it, which I haven't seen one on yet. I do need to get it, I really would like it. I do have the last. Hogwarts Express, but I really like this set. I like the Hogsmeade Station. The train is very different from the. It's, it's slightly different from the last, pre, the previous version. I think the last one only had one carriage. This one has two. I believe you get the. You also get the tracks included as well. So that's quite decent. It's a really good set. I think I've seen it once or twice in the Lego store, 
a load of minifigures. I really would like to get this. I, I love my train sets and Harry Potter, so it is a central purchase for me at some point, but I really would like to get it on sale. But yeah, I can't believe this is going so soon. Really, really surprised. Now. I thought this one would be, I thought this would be around for a good few years. Maybe Lego are planning another one in the future. That might be why, but yeah, very bizarre that it's retiring so soon. Next up, we have the Icons Ghostbusters Ecto-1. This set which came out in November of 2020, so it had a good, really good long run for nearly four years worth. Brilliant set, really nice. I did pick this one up um, a couple of weeks back during an Argos sale. I paid £140 for it, which is a really good saving. The retail price on this is $240, £210. It's not exclusive to Argos in the UK. I think a few retailers have it. I think Smith have it. John Lewis may well carry it, so hopefully you'll be able to try and get it on sale again. I've only seen it on sale a few times a year. Um, £140 when I bought it was the lowest I've seen it for a very long time. That, as, as I say, that was at Argos. Um, I, I think Argos occasionally have this on sale, but not for as low, not often as low as £140. Quite often I see it for around £165 price range. Um, so next time it comes up to £140, I really would snag this. I think it's a great set, really cool. Uh, we'll be build, building mine at some point. It's a great looking Ecto-1. Um, you can't, it's not really minifigure scale, it's too big for that, you can't really place minifigures and it is a really huge set, so not minifigures, minifigure scale unfortunately, but it is a great looking Ecto-1, really cool, who knows when we'll get another one of these ever again, it could be a very long time, um, let's say as a license, as obviously being a licensed set, chance style, once this goes, it won't come back again, it could be a very long time if, if, if ever, and I think, this one, I think this one will do incredibly well when it retires, like this, will be, this will be very popular. Really cool set, I say. I really recommend you try and get this. Probably, maybe I don't know if it's worth a full retail price. It's quite expensive at full retail at two hundred forty dollars, two hundred ten pounds. But try and get it in a sale, and it says it makes it a must-have set. Another of the icon sets is the Loop Coaster. Now this is an absolutely incredible set, uh, but it's expensive, four hundred dollars, three hundred forty-five pounds, and it did come out in July of twenty twenty-two. So it had a good couple of years run. Now I did have this set previously, but I subsequently sold it. It is an absolutely fantastic set, but it does have one issue. It is huge, absolutely ginormous, and that's why I subsequently sold mine. I don't have room to display it. It's, it, require, it is a massive set. The, the pictures don't quite show how big it is. Um, I've seen it on display once or twice in my Lego store, and it is just ginormous and does require a lot of space, and I don't have that space, unfortunately. Uh, it is a really great set, really good fun. You can motorize it to enable the roller coaster to actually spin round. Although from what I've seen from various reviews, it's a bit um, twitchy. It can stick sometimes. It's not. It's a bit fiddly. Um, but it is a great looking set. Really good fun. I think it's awesome. I. I don't have the space right now, but I would like to buy it again at some point before it retires if I can and put it away because I think this one will do quite well. Uh, it is a very. say visually, it's a very impressive set. The engineering that's gone into the set is, is very impressive. It's very tall, three thousand seven hundred and fifty-six pieces, lots of minifigures. I say if you've got the if you've got the display room for it, uh, it it's probably one you won't want to miss. I think this one will do. I think as once this, this retires, this will end up doing. Uh, this will do really well on the investment side. Again, you get a kind of scale of it on this picture here. It is just ginormous. It's quite ridiculous, really. It's quite limited. If you haven't got a lot of space for it, it really isn't. It, it puts a lot of people off. I think. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm gonna try and get hold of it again if I can. But I don't know. It's, 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 it's expensive as well. Don't get me wrong. It's not a cheap set. But my gut feel is one I don't want to miss. So if I can get if I get an opportunity to buy this again on, on on a sale or something, I will. I think in the UK this is exclusive to Smiths. So they whether they ever have it on sale again, I don't know. But yeah. Make one we might not want to miss. And finally, we have the Lego City Downtown set. This set again only came out in June of 2023, so not had a very long lifespan. The Lego City sets tend to sort of come and go; they don't always tend to hang around for very long. I thought this one might hang around. This this one might last a bit, a little bit longer, being the flagship Lego City set, priced at $200, 180 pounds. It's a really good set. I did buy mine last year. Um, occasionally, I've seen it on sale. In the UK, Argos, I think, might have this. I'm not sure it's an exclusive, but Argos quite often have this on sale. It's a really good set. I do need to incorporate this into my Lego City at some point. I haven't yet done that. It's a, it's an excellent set. It really is the flagship Lego City set at the moment. Really cool. All the big bits and pieces are like modular, so you can take it apart and display it how you wish. Every section is a modular piece, so you can display it and change it around the configurations as to how you want it. You get a couple of um, road plates. 
lots of minifigures, so you get loads of minifigures. That's really good to help populate a Lego city. And it is awesome, as you can see here, there's loads of uh, modular pieces. And I'll scroll down here, I'll give you a bit of an idea of the back of the box, just how many different bits and pieces that there are, so you can customize it and move it around and display it how you would like. So it's a really cool set. I, I need to build mine and at some point put it in my Lego city, but I've, I'm not sure I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet. I need to work that out because my Lego table isn't quite big enough. When I have a bigger Lego city, I'll incorporate it. But yeah, really, really good set. I probably wouldn't quite pay full price for it. I think Lego themselves, during Black Friday last year, they had this down to, I think they had it down to £130. As I say, Argos quite often have this on sale, so keep an eye, an eye out for that. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool set, and one you might not want to miss, but it's, it's a great set, really recommended. So those are 10 sets that I recommend you consider picking up before they retire at the end of the year. All these dates are subject to change. They could, some of these may well be put back to 2025, but at the moment, all the information I have, these are all going to be going at the end of the year. So... Try and get as many of these as you can, because I think a lot of these are going to be worth quite a lot of money when they eventually retire. Some of these you'll be able to get in a sale, hopefully, so you'll be able to get some good savings on these. So let me know in the comments which of these uh, retiring LEGO sets are you going to try and pick up. Have you got any other LEGO sets that you recommend picking up before they retire by the end of the year? Can I please ask leave a like? And if you've enjoyed today's video, I'd be very grateful if you consider subscribing today. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching today.